Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be taking a proper look at Falcon after his buff. So this is going to be breakdown review video, guide video, call it as you will for uh, this uh, video. I'm going to be using my 6 star rank 1 unduped Falcon. And first thing to note is that uh, when he is duped he does gain some damage output and your lock on is 2 seconds longer. But uh, simply by increasing the duration of 2 seconds uh, of that lock on ability uh, you also decrease the town time basically in an average fight so it's kind of like points in volleyball so whenever you lose a point you do not only not gain a point for your team you give away what one to your opponents and uh, scorecard kind of like shifts uh, more dramatically and the same idea here is with falcon's lock on ability so awakened ability for falcon is definitely quite important and uh, first we're going to check out kind of like him in his proper damage where we were told that we're going to see some big nice yellow numbers and this basically is a fight where you can see max damage potential because in labyrinth of legends it's quite easy to stack up those cruelty charges whenever opponent would evade or doesn't or could evade but can't and here we can see that we have gotten up to 99 cruelty charges our level 2 is guaranteed to crit for about 30k here uh, with kind of like a standard suicide mastery setup nick fury on our team and uh yeah Keep in mind, this is rank 1 unduped. But uh, with all that, and this is, keep in mind, maximum kind of like damage you can stretch out from Falcon. Doesn't really hit all that hard. Uh, we can see that I'm 250 hits in the fight. Red Hulk still at about 30%. We have already basically went past the first enraged timer so his damage output is decent but he's not quite in the territory of kind of like the best labyrinth clearing of options or abyss clearing options now here despite being locked on opponent we saw that red hulk did in fact also evade the reason for it is because when they enter second and rage phase they have increased ability accuracy and at that point 100% reduced ability accuracy doesn't really cut it anymore and that is an important thing to note which can catch you off guard in several different situations which i'm going to demonstrate later as well based on different champion abilities or nodes themselves but uh, overall this fight took about 360 hits uh, to solo i'm not going to show the full end of it but this initial clip here is just kind of like demonstrate kind of like his full damage that you can gain about uh, this red hulk interesting thing about his level 2 is the fact that he ignores that physical resistance i didn't include the clip in this video because it's already quite full but it also kind of bypasses in uh, visible woman's force field and all of those mechanics where is that huge damage mitigation so that is uh worth testing out whether he can also bypass some other kind of like damage gates with that level 2 which is i found to be quite fascinating um, but yeah so here we can see that that hulk is at 15 percent the fight is uh, closing to an end but uh, once again i'm not going to show the very very finish of it we're just going to finish here on uh, that uh, awesome level 3 because that level 3 is actually quite cool for how old falcon is and the fact that his animations did not get changed but now let's jump to actually showcasing his utilities now first things first i'm gonna showcase him against like two await counters i'm gonna be doing some fights in act five some fights in variant and some fights in act six even 6.3 something so we're gonna be taking falcon up against some really really big health pools and obviously the first thing and kind of like the best thing about falcon is that lock on ability can completely shut down away and uh, when opponents would try to win you gain those cruelties and that is kind of like the ideal scenario falcon is meant for designed for because he really isn't all that impressive in kind of like a casual fight when opponent would have a chance to wait that you can shut down falcon works great another thing that i do like about falcon uh, right now is the fact that you do not rely on a buff or debuff to be able to access that ability accuracy reduction and prevent your waves so against uh stuff like fisticuffs or against immunity nodes like here we have spider-man who's fully immune to everything he cannot be debuffed by any type of debuffs but uh, you can still lock 
on him and you can prevent his evades and that is something you can't really do with most of the evade counters for instance elsa needs to be able to land debuffs uh, her holds of debuffs then we have all the slow champions who need to land the slow and uh, so on and so forth so most vast majority of the champions who do prevent evades do rely on debuffs or buffs and falcon doesn't that does make him uh, fairly unique, fairly rare. It's not completely unique. There are other champions who can shut down a raid without that, but it's a fairly exclusive club. Next up, I took Falcon to a biohazard path, and uh, this same would apply for Freezer Burn. Now, obviously, going up against Colossus is not exactly perfect, it's not exactly ideal, but uh, thus is the point of this video to kind of showcase him in the wild, in the real life scenarios. And uh, even going up against Mutant Champion, where my lock on duration isn't quite as long as it is against every other opponent, especially Science, where you get increased duration, I am able. To conduct Falcon in a reasonable enough manner and fight off uh, that biohazard. So you can do uh, the same thing with Freezer Burn and Falcon all of a sudden does how decent amount of utility in that lock-on. Obviously those are not the only nodes that you will be able to bypass. Uh, so there's biohazard, there's Freezer Burn, there should be spiked uh, armor there should be plenty of other nodes that falcon can bypass and what did surprise me of uh even though on paper the eight second cooldown seems like a quite long time realistically you can manage it quite well in the fight and the playstyle of falcon isn't overly complicated however right now we're gonna arrive at a small conundrum because even though the node here doesn't say anything about increased ability accuracy or anything of the sort we do need to take a look at Hulkbuster's abilities and we can see that per every armor stack uh, enemy attacks suffer minus 20% offensive ability accuracy and uh, that interacts with Falcon's lock-on and in this case we can see that even at times when Falcon is locked on the Hulkbuster there will be some shocks or bleeds sneaking through at point of the fight. So uh, you do need to remember that 100% is not guaranteed as we have champions in game whose ability accuracy cannot be reduced or who have increased ability accuracy. Like for instance, Longshot, like even Sorcerer Supreme has increased ability accuracy. I feel like Domino should be able to bypass some of these things as well. So it's a very, very key note that Falcon isn't kind of like uh, one ability fits all solutions even if you are using him let's say in biohazard or freezer burn it's not quite the same as using an immune champion and there will be situations there will be nodes there will be struggles where it just isn't quite good enough it's kind of like people typically like to look at ghost ability to shrug off all debuffs as like a huge plus but then there are situations where for instance against hulkbuster again an armor break would sneak in or something else that would prevent ghosts from phasing or reduce the ability accuracy and you just don't shrug off those debuffs and you die from them so it's important to know that even though falcon can do uh, some of that stuff in uh, ideal scenarios uh, there will be also times when it's just quite simple that if he's not immune he's not immune and ability can fail and now a very quick very uh, super short showcase against an act 5 electro because obviously lock on ability also prevents uh, from these damage backs uh, from electro that should also quite easily work with korg for instance uh, because yeah why not it's a passive which should lock on so yeah he can counter stuff like electro and, and i'd assume stuff like killmonger is easily enough as well now this is a variant one and this magic in particular where it's skill and mutant chapter and in past we actually didn't have many counters to it at all whatsoever yesterday on live stream i tested out gambit and gambit can do this fight as well it was actually a bit trickier with gambit than it is with falcon because of that kinetic transference but the point being is that uh, we can see that whilst lock on is active you can safely push magic past bars of power and there will be no limbo involved obviously you do need to be careful you do need to make sure that you are the one that's pushing magic past limbo because we can see right here i did parried she gained that limbo 
uh, via her kinetic transference node and uh, then she did trigger it and I took all of the damage. But at the same point here, we can see that uh, the f I'm still in the fight. It's not going to be a perfect fight, but Falcon is doing it and I'm going to finish it. So Falcon can counter uh, annoying stuff like magic, for instance, especially in kind of like very close and hindered limited scenarios such as act, uh, sorry, variant one, where you can only use skill and uh, mutant champions. So yeah, Falcon is doing some heavy lifting and I'll be honest, initially I didn't expect too much of his buff. And after testing him yesterday, I was kind of like pleasantly surprised. And I think as a standalone champion, I 100% prefer Falcon over Gambit, uh, at least at this moment. I have yet to make full comprehensive Gambit video though. So keep that in mind. But uh, Falcon did perform better than I thought he would. Next up, we're gonna jump to the final clip of this video. And this is going to be 6.32. Two, I believe, and this is going to be the weight path. So the opponent health pools are absolutely stacked, and this is six star rank one. So I would even argue that he is actually under ranked for this type of piece of content. But uh, he is going to manage to hold his own, and his damage dealing abilities certainly are benefiting quite a bit from canceling that away out. And obviously I'm not trying to claim that Falcon is like by far the best counter or a perfect counter for these like these nodes, but the fact itself that he is able to approach so many different pieces of content now and uh, actually get through them is uh, quite meaningful, especially because he is contesting his abilities in skill class. Now, if we are honest, in my personal opinion, my personal evaluation, I find skill class to be by far the worst class in the game. We have Nick Fury, we have Aegon, who are great champions, and then we have a bunch of good champions. We have Stealth Suit Spider-Mans, we have Elsas, we have Night Rushers, Taskmasters, Hit Monkeys, or what have you, but at large those champions are just about class lower, and then we have a whole heap of absolutely rubbish champions, if we're honest, in skill class. Uh, so I think Falcon realistically competing with the rest of the skill class has a decent chance to actually earn some of your catalysts to actually be considered perhaps as a compromise choice uh, for a rank up. Uh, some people asked me yesterday already, oh, should I take my Falcon to like rank two? And when it comes to skill class, actually, I, I can't fault it. I would probably place him somewhere nearby Black Widow, Deadly Origin, somewhere nearby, uh, else Bloodstone, somewhere, probably not as high, but still, uh, if uh, you do have a lacking skill roster, then I think at this point Falcon could very well be deserving of some love, some attention, because uh, he might not be, again, the perfect answer for uh, every fight, or many fights, in fact, but... Uh, he's capable of doing plenty fights, plenty more fights than I thought I would like to use him for. Uh, so yeah, once again, I'm kind of uh, somewhat pleasantly impressed with the champion after the buff. Once again, he definitely isn't uh, at the top of the game. He isn't competing with the best champions in the class or anything like that. In an average matchup, he's relatively mediocre and uh, he doesn't kind of like shine too much. There will be some challenges getting used to his playstyle, managing the lock-ons, things like that. And uh, there will be many scenarios where you just much rather use the Aegon or Nick Fury or whatever you have. But at the same time, as a, let's say, B-team option or backup plan, I do think he can put in a solid amount of work. I do think he can help plenty of summoners. Uh, complete and explore Act 5. I do think he can uh, put in some amount of work in Act 6 as well, should he be ranked up appropriately. And uh, there are definitely far worse uh, skilled champions in game right now. So, uh, for most part, I think that will about uh, do with today's video. Uh, we do have one more fight here uh, recorded, and uh, as that fight is going on in the background, I'm gonna drop a few pieces of information on you guys. I have just created uh, my Patreon page. I 
still haven't fully populated and I still haven't formulated exactly a kind of benefit package, but it is there. It will be in the description of the video. I also have uh, started my Discord server, which is uh, still in the very early days. But if you want to get on that early on, be my guest. And additionally, I am starting also uh, my dedicated line room which I'm going to kind of like prioritize over all of my other chats and which I'm going to try and check as frequently as I can. I will leave all the links and other stuff in the video description. So I hope uh, you guys join up. I hope you guys get involved. We are still uh, pushing for 30,000 subscribers. We're actually getting very close. I believe at this point we are only about... Uh, 800 subscribers away from hitting 30k so that's going to be a huge milestone for my channel and greatly appreciate if you'd help me out if you'd share the channel link if you would uh, do all the other cool stuff and uh have your friends subscribe have your alliance might subscribe subscribe yourselves and uh tune in live streams check out some videos if you do enjoy them or if you find them useful all that stuff is definitely greatly appreciated but uh, yeah, that will do for me. I have mumbled a bit too long toward the end of the video. I hope you guys uh, like Falcon. I hope you guys uh, now have seen what Falcon can do and you can give him a fair shot as well. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what do you think about this review in particular and Falcon's buff. But uh, that will do for today and I'm going to catch you guys next time. See ya.